Hi, my name is Denver. I'm going to be talking about a method that I used to partition a USB flash drive into two disks. And both of those disks are recognisable by Windows at the same time. Um, obvious disclaimer, you do this at your own risk. It does involve partitioning, so if you mess up your hard drive, well, you were warned. Um, with a demonstration of this, I'll plug in a drive that I had um, splits into the two partitions earlier and that particular drive is a very small uh, waterproof uh, Kingston drive and it will detect each of the separate drives so you can see here is one drive H and drive E as well okay so we've got these two drives uh, further evidence of that, if I uh, run disk mgmt.msc, the drive management program inside of Windows, and you can see down here there's a one disk and it has these two partitions on there, both detectable by Windows. Um, I'm going to open up uh, the computer and you can see here, here they are, both of them. If I look at the properties of this, you'll notice but the type says local disk. Normally it says removable media, removable drive. Um, this is what allows Windows to be able to see both of these on that USB flash drive. So what we have to do is basically change it from saying removable to a local disk. Now that's known as flipping the bit, the removable bit. It's not the only way of getting these two partitions to be recognized by the uh, device. There is another way involving um, system drivers that read the USB and you can put those onto the USB rather than installing those just on your machine so that the flash drive can be used in different machines as well and have those partitions detected. Normally when people partition their USB flash drive into two partitions only one of them is removable because they do not flip this removable bit. Um, so as I say, this is what we have to do. We have to change that removable media to a local hard disk. And the software that uh, we use is often used by people fixing their USB drives uh, when they bought fake drives from eBay reporting the wrong size on the drive. It says 64 gig and it's actually 2 gig uh, drive or something like that. They use this software to fix it. Um, in terms of what we will be uh, needing to do in that USB uh, flash drive there are uh, two main parts to it the uh, controller and also the flash the flash memory area but the controller chip the software that we're going to be using will be talking to that controller chip you can use the software to uh, reprogram the firmware inside of there um, can change the um, the mode or the way that this flash memory is used into um, perhaps using it for a CD-ROM partition or a encrypted partition uh, using that controller. It does depend on the controller that you have on the chip though, um, but the software that we'll be using will be talking to that particular controller. You can update the firmware and so on. So outline of the method that I'll be talking about um, is that First of all, we're going to need to find out information about the USB drive, the details, manufacturer, and so on. That will then lead us on to the particular tools that we need to flip that removable bit. Okay, so, from finding out info about the drive, we can then find out what tools we need. And then, once we have the tools we need, you actually perform that um, bit flip. Having done so, we can then use software to partition the drive, um, gparted, boot ice or what, what have you. Okay, so first part, we need to find out information about that USB drive. And to do that, we use Chip Genius. Okay, so just do a search in Google for Chip Genius, download this application, extract it and run it, and it will give you a whole host of information about the USB drive and you can see here that I've got these two drives E and H on that one USB flash drive so the USB mass storage device it's not saying it's removable media um, it gives you a lot of detail here uh, 
protocol we're going to need later on as well as the controller down at the bottom here uh, but for the time being when you are looking at this you're mainly interested in the USB device ID, the vendor ID, VID, and also I believe the product ID, so PID, and the um, manufacturer as well of this drive. What I'm going to do, I'm going to plug out that drive now and use another one uh, to help explain some of the software. I'm not going to um, flip the removable bit on this drive, but I'll just use it to explain the process that I went through. So here we have a um, normal drive and it's got uh, the manufacturer Kingston and so on uh, these are the points to take note of and we go to a site called flashboot.ru slash i flash slash and we enter into the search box the VID and the PID numbers from Chip Genius okay so the these values here drop it into that run a search and having done so it will indicate to you the tools and it is an indication it's not an exact science as it were but it indicates to you the tools you should be looking for through Google to find to help you um, flipping that removable bit okay so that's the first part um, to tell us what tools that we need um, there are some other interesting things that this chip genus will tell us such as the um, firmware version the date of the firmware and the actual controller as well sometimes we can use that to help work out which of these we should be looking for which of these packages that we can use to change that removable bit but also down here right at the bottom um, chip genius tells us the actual uh, tool, the actual software, gives us a link to the software that we can use to perform this removable bit flip. So if I do that, I go to this uh, website here and it's very useful to use Chrome because as you can see this is in Chinese, my Chinese isn't good at all so very quick to translate that and then we can scroll down here and look for the particular uh, software that we need to flip that bit. To help you as a guide you can look at the date so the firmware date here in Chip Genius can give you an indication as to which of these versions. For myself I had to download uh, at least I think about five different versions and try them and it, it can vary in terms of success. It's rather like trying to fish by throwing bricks into a river at night. Um, so it is not exact if you managed to do it first time all credit to you uh, wasn't the case for me so that leads us to what software we should use there is a um, very common uh, software that first led me to hear about this called Lexmark boot it there are others Alcor MP or mass production tools as are known um, for programming these uh, flash drives um, Fison is the one that I'll be talking about that relates to Kingston and Toshiba drives. By the way, I'm not an expert at all in this area. It's just, this is just what I found out by just trying to uh, run through this process. So um, let me actually run you through the use of that software now as to how you would go about flipping that removable bit. So you download the software and you would then um, go to the that particular archive it normally uh, comes as a raw file extract it and then run it actually before I run it let me talk about um, what you get in that package because inside of here there's about three main parts to uh, this this one uh, mass production tool uh, there's the get info that gives you details about the drive there's a parameters edit that you change the settings for to apply to the flash drive and then there's the main program here uh, the F1 MP or F1. Both the other two, the parameters and info, can be run from inside of this anyway. So that's the one that I'm running, MP or F1. And that program will run. And as it runs, you hit on update, and it'll update this area here to tell you that it's detected the drive. Now, mine is showing an error because this is a much, much older USB drive that I'm just using to talk about this software. 
So normally yields would say, show this as being white to show that it detected the drive successfully. If you wanted to run get info, you click on the button to the left of that drive, get info will run and you'll get the details about that drive. You can change the drive letter here and click read to re refresh this. Um, this tells you details about the um, controller on that flash drive, very important, particular modes as well. Uh, partition information can be seen under the partition setting tab. Here you can see there's just one partition and down here at the bottom the fixed disk is still no. Now with this operation of um, flipping the bit it will change this fixed disk to yet. However this software won't be able to detect that. Now the reason is that this software only detects removable media so once we flip that bit and the drive is now seen as a local hard disk by the machine this program can no longer detect the drive so you can't use this to undo the operation okay so if you did this you can plug back in the drive detect it with this and um, undo it so it is a one-way operation using this tool so that's an important point to make um, in terms of actually flipping that bit you go to the settings here and advanced settings we pick say OK to that and here now uh, this is important bit under the first tab ICFW firmware you pick the protocol and I've got to pick up um, Chip Genius to show you where I'm getting this from so the protocol version USB 2 that could be USB 3 etc then the controller is the actual uh, chip controller down here okay now for this old drive it under my uh, this particular version of the software it doesn't have a 56 listed okay you can see that's 2251 um, and there is no 56 there okay so that's the reason why it was showing up red over here but if I use the um, as an example the drive I I had split uh, before I'd click 57 this is a one so basically just match that to what Chip Genius is showing you. Under the other settings, you have uh, flash settings, preformat, uncheck it. Um, it will perform a low level format, and for larger drives, it can take 20 minutes to do so. Only if you ne really need it would you do that. If something goes wrong, you've got to reformat your drive perhaps. Uh, partition settings, um, this is where the magic happens. So you just pick one partition, removable disk, change that to fixed disk and default FAT32 or leave it on the default doesn't really matter and then that is all the settings that we really need there are many many other options under here you can put a CD-ROM on OneDrive, hidden secure systems, uh, encryption you name it and, and multiple partitions uh, there's a lot to say about, about these but out of a lot of testing I strongly recommend um, for the best chance of success, like I say, it's like throwing bricks in, in, in a river to fish. Uh, for the best chance of success, I say, just keep it simple. One partition, removable disk to fixed disk. We save that into the settings file, or you could save it as a separate file if you wish. Click on cancel down here. Lock that settings file. Click on update. And it'll, yours would update here to be white and then the next thing that we do is click on start to run through that process so once we click on start this over here would indicate the progress as it runs through its checks and um, changes that removable bit flips that removable bit and hopefully when it is completed you'll see something like this from this um, Russian manual for a similar version of software it will show green okay and that would indicate that everything has been successful and like I say if you do that and it happens first time congratulations to you wasn't the case for me so that's what you aim for oftentimes you can have a number of errors in terms of the errors you can um, try different versions of the software uh, there are quite a few um, even try running it on different operating systems it can make a difference as well one of the drives I managed to do I ran on uh, Windows XP instead of Windows 7 as I'm using at the moment um, there can be many errors uh, many difficulties uh, with it. The main thing to look for when you are trying to resolve those errors is under the settings menu that the 
particular controller that you are using is within that particular version of the software. Okay, so that's the main thing to match up um, in terms of your settings when you're trying to get this to work. Okay, so having done that, we see that um, we were wonderfully successful. We got the the removable bit uh, flipped, and then we go on to the last part to actually partition the drive. Uh, you can use different partitioning software. The one uh, that I have here is the uh, program called Boot Ice, and with that program, we simply run it and pick for it to operate on the uh, parts. So we click on the Parts Manage, and I plugged in the drive that I did earlier. So you can see you'd have just one uh, partition here, and then we go to Repartitioning, and then you can select half the drive, half the drive, zero, zero, or whatever you want across the four possible partitions. Say OK to that, and then it will create the uh, partitions. Only one of them is active, obviously if you're going to make a boot disk or something that might be important, but uh, for what I'm doing here, um, both of them are recognisable by Windows, so it's not much of an issue. OK, so that's the last part of um, completing this process, and hopefully at the end of it um, you would end up with these two um, drives on that one USB uh, flash stick that you have. Um, I hope you found this useful and it's of some help to you. Okay, so all the best. Bye.